What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you how to create a simple team score system and it's going to be a very easy build to follow so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is create the system on the game state. So if we go to world settings, you can see in here we have the game mode selected and under it, we will see the game state class. And here is where we want to save the game state. In this case, the team score. So let's go ahead and just click this button to browse it into the content browser. In my case, I'm literally just using the simple, um, you know, uh, one from the third person uh, game mode. So as you can see, uh, we cannot select and that's because it is just using the default class and we need to create a new one. So let's quickly just right click, go to blueprint class and then go down and you search for game state. And then you will see this one. And now that we want the one that says base because it will not contain advanced multiplayer functionality. If you want to go ahead and make it for multiplayer, make sure to select the other one. But in my case, for the example, let's just select base and let's name this something as BS underscore, uh, sorry, BS, not BP, uh, game state. Uh, actually, it better, it's better gonna be um, GS for game state and then whatever you wanna name it, right? For your, you know, deathmatch or whatever you wanna call it, right? In my case, let me just do this, open it up now you can see that we have the blueprint so let's go to the event graph and here it's going to be you know writing of the logic so first of all we need two variables okay in this case i will have two teams so that you know makes sense to have two variables so let's go up uh, and create a new variable in this case this will be called something as team a score and now this will be basically an integer because it will just be whole numbers and then let's create another one which will be team B score and with that said we have both scores you know as a variable which is what we need and now what we can do is just right click and just create a new custom event and this will be add score to team and a very clever thing that we can do is pass a boolean as an input which will be is team a so if it is team a let's make a branch and what we'll do is just get the team a score and just do this add add which will increment it by one and with that said we can now just go ahead and do the same but with the condition false which will be for team b so just get team b plus plus and this will automatically increment this variable by one okay and that's how we can go ahead and just add a point into this team great so with that said now we need to do display these variables in our UI. So let's quickly just create a simple one, right click, use interface widget blueprint, use a widget that will be underscore something as teams score, right? Let's open this up and now in the palette, let's search for a canvas panel, just drag it in so we can now place things in our widget and then we need to also go ahead and find the text and just drag it and in my case, let me just have one on the left here and let's make this a bit um, bigger so first of all let's put like a you know placeholder so we know a bit how it will be so team a and then two points and then like uh you know whatever score they have um so first of all let's increase the font around 30 and then increase a bit the size x and y so there's a bit more of room and then let's do exactly the same thing so use ctrl d to duplicate this and this will be the same but for team B and I want to place it in the same um, X value. So let's go to team A Copy position X. All right, go to here paste it and now we just want to drop the Y to be used underneath Okay, so we have team A and team B in this case we can put a different uh, Score now this is just place uh, holders. This won't be the actual text in the game This is just for me to orient better where I want to put my text. Okay, so with that said, now we have two of them Let's make sure to select the first one which is team A and uh, rename it. So something that's team a score Text and now make sure to click is variable so we can you know use it in the uh, logic itself and now the same over here 
will be just team B score text. And once again, we want to make this a variable so we can you know, change the value of this. So now what we can do is select team A, go into the text property and create a new binding. So this will go ahead and overwrite the text with whatever is here. We can implement logic. So what we want is to access the game state. So there's many ways to do this. We just get the game and you can see that I have many things state. And now we can just cast to the class that we created, which is GS deathmatch. And now we can just go ahead and get the team a score and just pass it. But of course, if not, the text will just have the number and we want to have team a two dots and then the score. So what we can do is use this very nice uh, node, which is the format text. And we can put it in between screw, uh, uh, is, well, first of all, team A, okay? So team A, two points. And then with a spacing with the squiggly lines or brackets, how we wanna call them, we can put here score. And that will create a parameter, okay? Which is the score. So it will be inside of that. With that said, I'm gonna copy exactly this, okay? Copy, compile, go back to the designer, select text B, and create a new binding for it, okay? Which is gonna be a new one. And now let me just go ahead and paste it because it's exactly the same logic, but of course, it will be a bit different because now instead of saying team A, it will say team B, and of course, we need to get the score of team B, which is very important. So make sure to just change that up. And now we are good to go. And last but not least, make sure in the wallet settings in the game mode to now use the new game state. This is very important. I see a lot of you guys maybe struggling because it doesn't work and that's because the game state didn't create. And now uh, one more thing is to go to game state and on the begin play, so when the game starts, we'll create this widget. So let's go to create widget. This will be something that was like team score. There we go. And then just add this to the viewport. So it will appear in the player screen. If I press play, you can see now we have team A and team B all set to zero. Now, what I'm going to do is every, I don't know, you know, so often I'm going to call the add score to team. So let's do add score to team. And this will be a random bool. So I'm going to do it randomly and then I'm going to wait around you know 0.7 seconds and then basically uh add another one okay <laughs> so this will be like a simple loop just to me to just show you how uh, it will be adding uh you know points into each team as you can see b2 3 4 5 we go one and it basically goes ahead and works and it increases the team's score, which looks really, really cool. So that's it guys. If you found this tutorial helpful or real shit, you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Remember that the private files are available in my Patreon YouTube members, so check that out. Uh, check out my new course of Game Dev TV, link in the description. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye, bye.